The next term I would like to teach you when it comes to flying things is the common housefly. You can see a picture of the housefly there with his beady little eyes. In my opinion, not a very cute animal. I mean, my goodness, his eyes are red. What if it's a she? Could be a female fly. His or her eyes are red. It's a little scary to me. I'm not used to seeing animals with red eyes. I'm not used to seeing flies so big. A little scary there. A common house fly is usually just called a fly. Yeah. In the summer, sometimes our windows will be open. We have screens on the windows so the bugs can't get in. But every once in a while, a door gets left open for too long and a fly will fly into the house. Hey, yesterday, Bob the Canadian, I saw a little of his lesson, shout out to Bob the Canadian. If you don't know Bob the Canadian, you should get to know Bob the Canadian. He did words that were both a noun and a verb. I'm not sure if he used fly, but he could have. So the common house fly can fly into your house. A fly, noun, can fly, verb. Mm. Have you ever had a fly fly into your eye? It's not very fun. If it's a house fly, it probably won't stay there that long. But if it's a small bug, we have little black flies where I live, we call them. Sometimes they fly into your eye. It can be a real pain. Real pain. I would like to teach you an English idiom that we sometimes use with the fly. And that English idiom is they're dropping like flies. They're dropping like flies. Hmm. What could that possibly mean? Well, in English, this happened just this week. So at my school, a lot of people are getting sick, not just me. I missed two days of school, but I've had many students who've also missed days of school. And one day, I think it was Wednesday at school, there were a lot of people who got dismissed from school. And when you get dismissed, that means you go home before the end of the day. So a lot of my students were getting dismissed. I have probably 70 students and about five of them got dismissed because they weren't feeling well. And one of the teachers I work with said, whoa, what's happening to all the students? They're dropping like flies. So when a lot of people go missing, you might say they're dropping like flies. How about this? A marathon. That is a really long run. A marathon. I think it's 26.2 miles. I think that's right. So you can imagine it's a really hard race. Not everybody finishes that race. So halfway through the race, you might hear, whoa, what happened to everybody? They're dropping like flies. They're leaving the race because it's too hard. I can see that. I can see that. Audie, how are you? Hope you're doing well. That man lives in Thailand. Yeah, Manuel. Yeah, during the COVID outbreak. Yeah, we... <coughs> Excuse me. Speaking of dropping like flies, man. Um, I'm actually feeling pretty good. It's just my voice. Um, yeah, during COVID, it was like... We had a couple days last year or the year before when we went back to in-person learning... At my wife's school, they're also dropping like flies. Luckily, they're coming back and, and getting healthy, but Pakistan, glad to see it. Hope all is well in Pakistan. Lahore, I would love to visit that city. Islamabad, too. would be a good city to visit in Pakistan, I 